All right, all right, let us talk Tobacco 101, Cigars 101. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. If you're interested in the cigars I'm talking about today or many other boutique, craft, hard to find cigars, which is something that we try to specialize in, head on over to our website, that's where you'll find us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit that bell for a notification so that we can continue to get out the most education we can and continue to get the word out here at OGT. I have with me two very, very special cigars uh, made by two manufacturers, two separate companies, um, but highlighting exactly what it is that I wanna talk about. Now, when we hear the concept of Cigar 101, and when we're talking about tobacco, there are many, many, there's countless different types of tobacco. Whether we wanna talk about like the actual wrapper leaf, or we wanna talk about tobacco seed, the region it's grown, you can have the exact same seed uh, of let's take Corojo 99, for example. If you grow that in one region of Nicaragua and grow it in another region, you can have completely different flavors. We've seen this in the wine world. We've seen this in many different industries. And it's very, very true when it comes to cigar tobacco. And uh, when we have the tobacco plant itself, it's split up into different like parts that are the most commonly used, which is Lajero, Seco, and Viso. Lajero is the top portion of the plant, more often than not. Uh, it will be the wrapper leaf uh, on a cigar or the filler inside of a cigar to really kick it up a notch. Lajero tends to be a very beautiful leaf and that being at the top of the plant, it's getting most of the sun's energy. It has a lot of flavor, sometimes the most strength. And Lajero is very coveted, especially wrapper leaf because when you wrap a cigar in Lajero leaf, in wrapper leaf, you want it to look as pretty as it can. And so some tobaccos get a bad rep. Some people say Connecticut Broadleaf doesn't look the prettiest because it's of its rustic looking nature. Um, you have some San Andreas and such. I mean, the list goes on, but Lajero is the top portion of the plant. Right below that in the center, you have Seco. Seco is normally used for filler tobacco. Uh, and there's blends like uh, HVC Black Friday, which is almost completely comprised of Seco. It delivers some good combustion, some good flavor, some good like oomph it can be a good supporting role, or in the case of that HVC, it can create an amazing blend altogether. And then underneath you have Viso, and Viso is less commonly, I think, talked about, spoken about, uh, especially since being on the lower part, it's definitely gonna be filler tobacco. But you have those three portions of the plant, but that's not where it stops. On the very, very top, just above La Jero, some plants, not all of them, but some plants bear what's called medio tiempo tobacco, which I believe is translated as halftime or part-time. And that's due to the fact that the medio tiempo tobacco, when it grows, it does not grow on every single plant. Medio tiempo is just that. It's not a guarantee. It doesn't happen all the time. But when it does grow, there are very, very small leaves, like two or three on the top of the tobacco plant. And as I've heard it described, it has almost this alligator skin type of texture, but, typically supercharged with a lot of flavor. Medio Tiempo is actually rather coveted by cigar makers, cigar farmers, um, because of its rarity, but also the experience it delivers. Why do I bring up Medio Tiempo? Well, I have two cigars with me using that particular tobacco. The first is the Cerberus, Aganor Salif's release last year around this time. This is the Guardian of the Farm, like part three. The Cerberus uh, is a Corojo 2012, and then it has Nicaraguan binders and fillers inside, but it uses Medio Tiempo tobacco inside of it. Give it extra oomph, extra flavor. Terrence Riley of Aganorsa Leaf, I had a question for him. I was like, can you please break, in layman's terms, break down exactly Medio Tiempo tobacco? And especially what I'm telling you right now, that part-time. He says out of 2,000 bales of tobacco, it's not a high percentage, out of 2,000 bales of tobacco, normally 100 to 120 bales will have Medio Tiempo. Very unpredictable and rather rare, sometimes can even drive the price up. Now, in the case of the Cerberus, amazing flavor, amazing price for Guardian of the Farm. So check this one out, don't, don't miss out on it, but it's an incredible cigar using Medio Tiempo tobacco, that new Corojo 2012. Along with the Cerberus, I also have our OGT Cigar Society drop. This cigar is very, very special. It not only uses the rarity of Connecticut Broadleaf tobacco, it not only has five years of age of tobacco in this prior to rolling, but it also has Medio Tiempo Broadleaf wrapper. This uh, is easily around a $15 to $16 cigar, and working with Tony Barrios, 
we are able to offer this all to our members. So if you're not a member of OGT Cigar Society, you need to head on over. That's where you're going to find it. You're going to sign up, get a five pack of this at only 43 a month. Now, this cigar uses that Medio Tiempo Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, and the wrapper leaf itself is beautiful. It's textured. You can see some of the vein structure, but it's still got a good sheen, oil sheen to it. Just incredible. Absolutely beautiful looking broadleaf cigar. And underneath that Medio Tiempo wrapper, you have things like a Ometepe double binder with Esteli and Ometepe. In other words, Ometepe is a small island in the middle of Lake Nicaragua. Two volcanoes on either side, very rich in volcanic soils. You have the boost of Medio Tiempo tobacco, the Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, and the Ometepe double binder with Esteli, and the Nicaraguan fillers for five years aged after it's been rolled, almost aged an additional year. So these are two shining examples of what Medio Tiempo tobacco can taste like. Pick them up, that way you can kind of figure out, okay, this is exactly what I enjoy, and really try that experiment. How does it vary between different tobaccos? Both from Nicaraguan. If you're not an OGT Cigar Society member, this is when I would encourage you to sign up for this extra special blend by Tony Barrios' Stellone Cigars. Hopefully that helped in the information of tobacco and the tobacco plant. We'll see you next time on Oakland Tobacconist.